Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats. In this video, we're gonna be covering video number two of three in the dashboard series. Let's get right into it. Now for time purposes, I'm not gonna show you every single one of these, but I'll cover them briefly just so that you know they're there. You can check out your refunds, your buy box percentage. Sales rank is important because it tells you how your product is doing overall in your top category. You can also track your conversion rate, your sessions, number of customer reviews, your average review, and average number of stars. Then we've got our marketing performance section. Add cost, impressions, clicks, click-through rate, and your average cost per click. Another awesome graph is new customers. Then you can figure out what percentage of customers are new customers and what percentage are repeat customers. All right, for the sake of ease, I've gone ahead and pre-created some graphs for you, but I just wanted to show you. So what I like to see is my product sales revenue, my Amazon payout, my costs of goods sold, and then my estimated gross profit. That kind of gives me a progressive line on the money from what comes in to what I get to keep. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and show you what I've created. Here we have the product sales revenue, and then Amazon's gonna pay out what they're going to pay out. Then I have my cost of goods sold, and then my estimated gross profit. Now we've decided to give you a visual representation on this. I think it's gonna make a lot of sense. You might be wondering why I have 10 shot glasses filled with amber liquid right in front of me. And the answer is simple. These 10 shot glasses represent your product sales revenue. So as we all know, Amazon takes their 30%. Good, now we've got the cost of goods sold. I'm just going to assume that that's about 30% as well. Good, very good. So as you can see here, you've got roughly 40% remaining. Now, let's not forget about advertising cost and Uncle Sam. And so now you have your estimated gross profit. And that is why these graphs are important. And these last two glasses look a little bit lonely, but they belong to you. Well, that wraps up the graphs. I hope our visual representation was insightful. In our next video, we're going to be covering the dashlets for payouts, restock alerts, seller mail stats, and seller mail graphs. I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in. I think I'll have some more.